everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna, designed by Brianna here on YouTube, and today's video I'm finally sharing with you my office slash filming room. I'm really excited. I have been working on this project all during quarantine. Now this has definitely been a transformation over the years. I've been living here for about seven years and it has gone through some major changes. This room used to be pink, now I finally painted it white and I finally got some key pieces that really make this my go-to home office extra closet space filming location that I'm absolutely in love with. Along with sharing you my office filming location, I am going to be sharing with you some ideas of how to spruce up your space, whether it's creating a gallery wall behind you or adding some little trinkets to your vanity area to add a personal touch to your oasis. So before we get into the tour, I would appreciate it if you hit subscribe, come join the Design by Brianna Familia. We would love to have you here. And if you enjoy it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So let's go ahead and get to the tour. All right, so here is a quick overview of the entire room. So like I said before, this is both my at home office and my filming area. So you'll get to see lots of space for my shoes, my gallery wall where I film, and where I work essentially. Let's start off with my vanity area and I wanted to speak on my favorite piece I just added, which is my star map from Mapiful. I got to personally pick out this specific star map on the exact date and year of my anniversary to Will. Mapiful made it so easy to customize this. I was able to personalize it by adding a quote from one of Will's favorite songs, which is If I Never Knew You by the Disney movie Pocahontas. And it just resonates so much with our relationship because the quote that I chose, Lost Forever, If I Never Knew You, really speaks a lot to our relationship because I honestly don't know what life would be like if I didn't have Will in my life. So it just hits home on its very special note. And I like that I can have it right next to my vanity as I get ready. Mapiful has a ton of other maps, like their traditional maps of cities, which I own one of Portland, which is one of my favorite art pieces I own. They also have ones for zodiac signs now, and the ones with the star maps, like the one I own. Customizing is super simple. You can create a truly personalized piece just for you or for a loved one. They also offer free shipping worldwide, and this could be a great holiday gift this year, or if you just need a new focal piece for your room, or your house. Check out the link below for more information on Mapiful. All right, here is another look of the overview of my vanity. Now I'm gonna go into some specifics on how I put it together. So I first got this oval mirror from Target. It definitely is giving off like vintage mid-century modern vibes, which I absolutely love. Now I wanted to display some vintage looking items. So I have my Bessemer Cosmetics lipstick and the mascara box here, along with the cute little antique tray that I keep all my rings in. I got from Goodwill. Of course, gotta have my girls next to me, Sailor Moon and Selena, keeping me at peace. And I got some little trinkets here. I got my makeup brushes over here, along with my facial toner and perfume. On top of my mirror, I have this silhouette cutout from Disneyland from the first trip that Will and I ever took to Disneyland, so it's very special to me, so I figured it belonged to my vanity area. Next to my vanity, I have a huge mirror that definitely opens up the space of this room, and it's great for OOTD pictures. Now, if you're wondering where this cute mirror sticker is from, it's from a company called Jen Zano Designs. Check them out on Instagram, I'll link them below. So you'll notice in my room, I own a lot of secondhand or thrifted items like this dresser I got from Facebook Marketplace, like it's crazy. And on top of it, I displayed a lot of my favorite things, little trinkets, books, things that just bring me joy. On top of here, I have a plant. I have this adorable cat like wooden box that I got from El Salvador in a town called Ataco. And next to it, I have this amazing old Hollywood glamour book, which just shows a bunch of photographs from like old Hollywood. And it's just amazing. And it's a great sense of inspiration for me because I personally love like the pinup vintage fashion. So this gives me a lot of ideas of what to do for hair and how to style clothing. And it's just stunning. I could spend hours looking at this book. Next, I have my jewelry holder that holds some of my favorite jewelry pieces and some of my more dainty jewelry pieces, along with this beautiful jewelry box I got from TJ Maxx. Next to that is like my catch-all tray that I got at Goodwill holding my favorite Viva Cosmetics lipsticks. 
Next is my working desk. You will find me here 90% of the time I'm in this room. I will be editing all night, working on videos, answering emails, all that such. So I like to keep things pretty simple when it comes to my desk. I just have some of my favorite things like photos of my favorite people, little trinkets, my blue light glasses, and always a cup of coffee. So along my window, I'm displaying some of my favorite hats and to the far left corner, you can see my AA degree in fashion design from FITM. Yes, I went to college for fashion design and I have my degree to prove it. And because I have a fashion degree, I made my small little closet area into more of a capsule closet area. So it's very stylized like a boutique and everything. Here we have my gallery wall. It's, it's the background to most of my videos nowadays. And I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite pieces I have here. So this is a piece actually signed from Christian Siriano. He was at the same convention as my boyfriend was for work. And so he was handing out these signed illustrations of his work. So my boyfriend got one for me and I really enjoy it because he was one of my favorite designers on Project Runway. This piece I got from TJ Maxx and I just love the simplicity of the line art. Gotta represent my zodiac sign, so I love this illustration from Valfrey. You're gonna see another piece from her soon. Another way to mix up your gallery wall is printing out pieces that you see online. I grabbed this one from Pinterest. This next piece is actually from the packaging of the makeup palette I got, and I just loved it so much that I cut it out and framed it. Now this next piece I absolutely love. It's from my friend Susanna at The Designing Chica on Instagram. Her artwork is just amazing and always motivates me. Now, one of the bigger pieces on my gallery wall is this piece from Valfrey. It was the first piece of artwork I bought from her. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites. And the last piece is this vintage Gooba illustration that Will actually got at Goodwill. So this was a definite Goodwill find. To the left, you will see my bookshelf of my shoes. I have lots of shoes and I had very limited space in here for my shoes. So this was the best option. At some point, I would like to have more room for shoes, but until then, this will do. And last but not least is my ring light, which I use to make all my videos. I use it to film my TikToks. I usually keep it next to my shoes, but when I'm using it, it's just in the middle of the room, as you can see here. All right, so I hope you enjoyed my office slash filming room tour. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more photos and details about my office slash filming room location, I'm gonna be linking a blog post down below so you can get some more close-up photos and everything and such. And once again, thank you to Mapable for sending me a beautiful and personal stargazing map that I am going to treasure forever. If you wanna get your own, once again, the links will be down below. And if you'd like to follow me on all my other social media platforms, you can. It's all at Design by Brianna. The links will be down below as well. So until my next video, you'll see me then. Bye.